Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to access our e-library. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go into self-service and you're going to go down and you're going to look for the Sora app, S-O-R-A. So since these are alphabetical, you just have to scroll till you reach almost to the bottom. And what you're going to see is Sora by Overdrive. You're going to hit install and you're going to install that guy. And as I told you guys before in the self-service video, it may take a second. Then you're going to exit out of that and you should see the Sora app sitting on your iPad. You'll open that up and you're going to hit find my school and you're going to look for the one for um, Now, you're going to look for your school. If it's not listed, you may have to go down here to my school isn't listed. And if you just type in, I think the zip codes are easier personally because I'm lazy. You have to make sure you type the zip code in and correctly, of course, 17048. And you should see um, somewhere on here the Capital Area Shared Digital Collection. And if you tap that, select your school, you'll get the Upper Dauphin Area School District. Now you're going to put in your normal username and your normal password. This is what you normally sign in to the computers with, okay? So for me, it is just my last name, my first initial, and then for me, it is also a different password than what you guys have. So I'm going to take nine and a half years and type that out. And meanwhile, you're probably in Mexico and you hit sign in and it's going to slowly, because there's a lot here, populate what they have access to. So you can go through any of these. We have here the popular subjects. So say, for example, you want something humorous. So we're going to go under the humor fiction section. Oh, good. They have big Nate stuff. So I could place a hold on blow the roof off because it's checked out at the moment. Or if I wanted to read Big Nate in a class by himself, I could hit borrow. So I tap on that, borrow it, it opens it for me. And so I can sit here and I can read the book. And um, you just tap through like normal and it's just going to move the pages along. It may take a minute here and there because it is kind of still downloading the whole thing. Um, so at any time, if I exit this and I want to get out of it and I'm doing classwork and then I decide I want to go back in and I want to read because I'm done I can go ahead and open the Sora app again and you can see here at the bottom my book that I had is right there and I can tap on that to open it and it's going to pick up exactly where I left off. Um, if you finish early with any of these ebooks you can see all loans and then you can actually hit the due in 13 days and here you can renew it, you can return it, you can download it directly to a device. So say for example you know you're not going to take your iPad home and you wanted to send it to the Kindle app on your smartphone, you can do that. Um, you can also mark it as done if you're done reading it, um, but the biggie here is the return. So you're going to hit return and you can return it. And it does give you little rewards, like little achievements you can get along the way. Um, you do not have to return ebooks actively. They will return themselves after the 13 or 14 days is up. But if you get done early, it's good practice to go and return them just so that you don't have to worry about it later. Um, plus it allows other people to read the books as well. So that's how you can access the ebooks. Um, over in the bottom here, you have your home button, which allows you to see what's currently checked out, as well as if there are any assignments assigned to you by your teachers. You have the explore option for if you'd like to search. Up at the top left, you have the 
um, magnifying glass that you can actually search for a title, author, same as we always do. Or top right is the triple bar menu and that lets you see what library you're currently borrowing from and any of your general settings. You can go in and play with those when you have time. Any hold settings, um, download settings if you want to like not be able to download certain times, whatever. And then you have your uh, shelf which shows what books you have out. It shows what books you have on hold. It shows any lists of books, like if you have a wish list of books that you want to borrow, um, and any of the done ones if you wanted to keep track of what you've been reading and any that you liked or disliked. And it also keeps track of your general activity. And finally, you have your me, which shows how many books you've had, total time that you were reading, um, current streak, the average time per book, average time per session, longest streak. Um, and then you have any of your um, achievements listed down here as well. So that is how you access our ebooks and how you can borrow them, hold them, whatever. If you have any questions, don't forget you can stop by and see me or you can always hit me up in Google Meet.